Hi, and welcome to another video for Friday the 13th, The Game. Today I will be ranking the five playable map locations dotted around Crystal Lake. I took a poll from just under a thousand players to comprise this list, and we'll be detailing the positive and negative aspects for each map from both the counselors and Jason's perspective. So, which map best suits Jason? Which map has more options for escape than any of the others? Time to head to the first camp on our list to watch Jason set some traps for the seven counselors scouring the drawers in search of the elusive keys, phone fuse, and other items to aid their escape. Starting us off is the least favorite game location, according to our poll, Tommy's home when he was but a little boy, the Jarvis residence. Added to the game ahead of its hard copy release in the autumn of 2017, this map was considerably larger than the three before it. Designed to resemble the fourth installment in the film franchise, this map included the summer guest house and the Jarvis family home. Though it is aesthetically pleasing to the eye, to the counselor's detriment, its size plays to Jason's advantage. Items required to repair the car and the boat can often be found at opposite ends of the map. Stamina depletion is a real issue, and hiding spots are not as plentiful as one would expect. The two dedicated homes are two-story, however, and offer good window hopping opportunities. But you'd better have a couple of medi sprays at hand. Though it is possible to escape via a vehicle, it is much harder to achieve than on other maps, and thus this affords Jason the time to hunt down counselors and place extra traps in front of the phone fuse box. A challenge for even the best of counselors, and not very newbie friendly. Number four on our list is the Youth Rehabilitation Center from Part 5's New Beginning, Pinehurst. Often referred to as Pine Worst, this map may have come ahead of Jarvis in the poll, but didn't really fare much better. Why might you ask? Well, it suffers from the same inherent problems as Tommy's childhood residence. Its size is a real bone of contention, and unless the player using Jason is a novice, death from a counselor is more of a question of when than that of a possibility. The barn is huge, but doesn't offer the ease for escape like the one at Higgins Haven. And apart from the second floor window in the hall of the center, the bedrooms and the bathrooms are little more than dead ends. On the plus side, the boat has more than one avenue of escape, should you get the chance to get it going. And the police exit alternates between three locations as opposed to the usual two. The landscape looks fantastic, but getting from the top of the map to the bottom is a trek to say the least, and though it is possible to vacate the camp by car, counselors are less likely to aid one another to get it up and running. It may be very scenic, but it lacks the gameplay excitement of a smaller fast-paced map. Better than the previous two entries, but not quite as good as the following pair on our list, is Higgins Haven. More often than not, you will find two cars as a method to escape, rather than that of a boat. What's good about this map is that most counselors will work together to fix all of the necessary components in order to escape. This will keep Jason busy and makes it a real challenge for the player using the Adept Killer to apprehend all of his adversaries before the end of the match. The distance between vehicle and exit is virtually in a straight line, so Jason will have to act fast once the car or boat is in motion. Jason's shack will be located on either the west or east side of the map, 
giving the players a viable option to turn the tables on their stalker, and the cabins are generally in close proximity to one another, providing the councillors with cover and windows for hopping out of. Quite often the barn will house the battery or the gas, and has also been known to harbour the phone point. There are plenty of hiding spots within the main house, and lots of exits to vacate it should you need to. So why is this map not top of our list? Once again, size is the issue. Most players love the small version of the map, but lots are not so keen on the larger form. Personally, I enjoy both, but I admit that both Crystal Lake and Pakanak offer faster gameplay. Number two on our list, Crystal Lake. Another of the original game maps, Crystal Lake is a lot of fun for both Hunter and Hunted. Just like the previous entry, most players will work together to fit the components and will even go to great lengths to save their associates. The chances for escape are in equal proportion to apprehension and neither counsellor nor killer has time to stand idle. Traps are very useful, so Jason players using 4, 7 and 9 will have to work quickly and will need to keep an eye on the foam fuse box at all times. That being said, this is a great map for catching counsellors out in the open and the car works as a great gathering point for slaying several victims in quick succession. However, this is one map where the car works well off-road. The only real downside to this map are its lack of hiding spots. Its map-specific buildings are reflective of the movie, but are all single story and offer easy access for Jason. A great map nonetheless, and only plays second fiddle to the top entry from our poll. When it came to finding a winner for our poll, there was little doubt. Making up almost half of the votes was the part two inspired setting that fits well in every respect. Pakanak's layout is very straightforward. The majority of the cabins run along the extent of the main road and are staggered on either side. This makes for excellent window hopping opportunities and there are plenty of cabinets to search through without having to trek great distances from one to another. It's a real counselor's favorite map. Players work together to get the vehicles going. There are plenty of weapons at hand, few open areas for Jason to take hold of you, and lots of map specific places to hide. Each method of escape is as viable as the next, and should most of the team vacate the camp via the car, you still have hope by means of the police or by seeing out the time. It's not all doom and gloom for Jason either. Quite often one of the cars is at the main lodge. If the phone point happens to be there too, set a few traps and wait for your prey to come to you. The area around the lodge is highly defensible and is a great central point for killing multiple counselors. You may take a bit of a beating but patience, my boy, you will have the last laugh, and Mother will be proud. A fast-paced map that's fun for all players, and truly portrays the essence of the Friday films. So there you have it. I hope you found this video to be both entertaining and informative. Let me know in the comments section if there was something I didn't detail or cover. In the meantime, Check out my channel for more Friday the 13th The Game content. Until then, take care and have a good day.